I'm Tom from Shockpipe and in this video I'll be guiding you through the full process in setting up Discord SRV on your Minecraft Java Edition server. Before we begin it's useful to know what Discord SRV actually is. The plugin is a powerful tool that enables you to sync your in-game Minecraft chat with the channel in your Discord server. It also has a wealth of other features such as the ability to link Discord and Minecraft accounts and sync usernames and roles, a voice proximity chat and the ability to manage your Minecraft console remotely through Discord. To begin the installation process for this plugin, you first need to download the plugin from the Discord SRV Spigot page, which you can find linked in the description below this video. Bear in mind that it doesn't matter too much where you save the jar file to your PC, just remember where it is. When you've successfully downloaded the plugin, open your preferred FTP client. In this example, I'll be using FileZilla. The download page for this software can also be found in the video description. When FileZilla has opened, log in using the details displayed on your Multicraft control panel. Your password is the same as your control panel password. When you've successfully established a connection to your server, drag the jar file you downloaded earlier into your plugins folder, then head back to your server's control panel and restart the server. The plugin will now be added. Now that you've successfully added the plugin to your server, you need to create a Discord bot on your Discord server. To begin, create a new Discord application by going to the Discord developer portal. A link for this can be found in the video description. Now click new application at the top right of your screen and give it a name. Now click on the left hand side of your screen where it says bot. When the bot has been successfully created, enable the server member's intent and click save changes. If you'd like to, you can also change the bot's icon and username on this page. Then copy your bot token by clicking copy. Make sure you have this saved into something like notepad for use later on. It's important not to share this token with anyone. Now copy the application ID by going back to the general information page and clicking the copy button just underneath. Then head to the link on screen now, this can also be found in the video description, and add your numeric application ID to the end of the URL. Click the server of your choice from the drop down menu and click continue. Then authorize. Your bot will now be added to your Discord server. Now you need to link your bot with your Minecraft server. Firstly, you need to get the ID of the channel you'd like the bot to send messages in. To do so, you need to enable Discord developer mode by going back to your user settings in the Discord app, and then head into advanced and toggling developer mode. Now head back to your Discord server and right click the channel you want to send the messages in. At the bottom of the menu, you should now see copy ID. Click this. You should now have a long number in your clipboard. Now head to your server's files and locate the Discord SRV configuration file. This will be found at plugins discord srv config.yml. Open this file, then in the bot token field, paste the bot token you copied earlier. Then locate the channel's global field in the config file and paste in the ID of the channel you copied earlier. Now save the changes you've made to the config and restart your server. After the server's restart, you should see a message in your Discord server from the bot, stating that the server has started. You should now know the basics of how to set up Discord SRV for your Minecraft Java Edition server. If you found this tutorial helpful, make sure to let us know by liking the video and leaving a comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe to Shockbite Tutorials for more game and game server tutorials like this.